Single women who are over 50 years old who have been reaching out to me for wife coaching tips, I'm no longer taking them. Don't pay the money through my website because I'm just going to refund it to you. I've had a couple of experiences this week, and here's why. Most of you, not all, but 99% of the women who are 53 and older, specifically 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 64, in those age brackets, have been the most challenging for me to coach because the standards are unrealistically high. I get that you're old school and I get that your mom raised you to only interact with gentlemen, but most of the men who do all of the stuff that you're wanting are dead or they're not looking for 55 or 57 year old women. There are some younger men who do that and you, you don't want an old man because he can't perform in bed. Well, the younger men don't want an older woman because some of you have arthritis, some of you have missing teeth, you have gray hair, you have grandkids. Like you got to be realistic and balanced in your thinking. So listen, the other thing is these social media dating sites or whatever you call these things, these I've seen modernized female whores in those sites, meeting strange men, having sex with them. You don't know them. And I'm talking about women of God. You've got to make some shifts and some changes in how you think and how you process if you want to be married. Now, if you just want to be somebody's jump off and you just want to be somebody's cougar, 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 or somebody's fun girl. It is her literal job to coach women on how to be good wives. Do you know how much of a headache you have to be for somebody to say, I don't even want to take your money? And a middle name for you? B. What's that stand for? B's nuts. nuts. <laughs> 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 Got he. My girlfriend just broke up with me for spending my own fucking money. Every week I buy this bitch whatever she wants, spend thousands of dollars on her, and the one time I spend a hundred dollars on a prostitute. I beg your pardon? It was a normal age 50 years ago to start a family, and now women are taught that they should go work for 10 years. Why do you want to get family? Just find someone else. Bruh, not no, me. it's, it's not with you. It, it's 100 percent not with you. You're not even attractive or confident enough to put your face on the camera. Okay, I don't care. If you don't care, I mean, it's not an argument about you particularly. It's about women in the West who believe that they need to sit in office and waste their youth serving a man at a corporation rather than start a family and serve their husband. I don't care. No. You don't care, but I'm telling you the truth, and you're gonna remember this conversation when you're 32 with a bunch of cats. Bye. Exactly. I'm 27 and I see the shift. Almost all the women that I knew in my early 20s that wanted to be strong and independent got hit with bills and now all of a sudden they want to be a housewife. The only problem is most of them don't know how to be housewives because it's a skill they never thought they needed to know. Why did the transgender man only eat salad? I don't know. Because he was a her before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So women want to date older men because they're more mature and emotionally intelligent. Men want to date younger women because they're naive and easily manipulated. Which is it? Are these women mature and emotionally intelligent or are they naive and easily manipulated? If these men are creeps, but the women are attracted to them, by your own definition, these women are attracted to creeps. So again, which is it? Are these younger women and older men more emotionally compatible? Or are the men too emotionally intelligent for them and using that power to manipulate? Please just pick a logical side. It's just another shaming tactic. Older men like younger women because they're more fertile and they have less baggage. Younger women like older men because they tend to be more financially stable. Not only do women like men that are financially stable, but they also like men that take care of themselves and have smooth skin. And that's why I'm happy to say today's video is sponsored by Tej Hanley. As a guy who always tries to self-improve and as a guy who tries to inspire other people to self-improve I know that taking care of your skin is crucial. I've worked with Tej Hanley for over a year now for two main reasons. One because they allow me to make the content that I want to create and two because they have an amazing skincare routine that I use pretty much daily. Before Tej Hanley reached out to me I was just like you. I didn't have a skincare routine and because I don't sell products that I don't use personally I used their products for two months before I decided to work with them. After seeing improvements in my own skin over the two months I decided that this could be a product that other people could use. With that being said, I recommend you start with their level one system. It has all the basics that you need to take care of your skin. It comes with a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub that you only have to use two times a week so it lasts really long, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 for protection from the sun, and then boom, you gotta hit them with the PM moisturizer that's gonna butter your biscuit. 
And because I didn't know how to use the products, the part that I like the most is the instruction card that comes with every single box. It tells you how to use each product, it tells you when to use each product, and it tells you how much of each product you need to use. If you don't believe me, Teach Hanley has over 7,000 five-star reviews from people all around the world that have gotten positive results. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get a ton of benefits, including at least 20% off of retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, and shipping in the US is free. If you click the link in the description below, you'll get 30% off your first box. If you want a good way to support the channel and you want some amazing skin in the process, click the link in the description below and get started today. You can skip me if you want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> Honestly, you're actually quite attractive. Okay, okay. But you got that witch broomstick on your head, so we can't run. Hey, yo. What's going on? <laughs> Wait, so what's the rating? Zero. Yo, everyone's just catching zeros. Let me see if, I just want to see if I can open it. That Sounds like you're giving birth in here. I couldn't either. Hold on, I'm very strong. <laughs> we cannot open the star. Let's see if Scott can. I'm stronger than Scott. Who is it? I'm sure he got it open because they loosened it up for him. Everybody's strong and independent until you gotta grab something on the top shelf or open a pickle jar. What are you saying? Smash your pass. Pass, I'm sorry. You say pass? Why pass? The wig. Oh! You don't like the wig? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna get it closer. <laughs> Let me get it closer if he's crazy. Oh! Like she's looking, she, she trying to do something to you, I can't lie. Don't kill me. So my friend told me the reason why Saudi Arabia has so much money is not just because of oil, but because uh, they don't let their women spend it. Am I right or am I right? You'll see like these girls being like, oh, at least I'm never gonna be the vanilla wife. Let me tell you a beautiful story. A man and a woman get married. She is faithful to him and he loves her unconditionally. This is how they tricked all the women into, into leaving their, their cushy lives at home so that they could freaking inflate all the wages so now dude, no one can afford dude, anything. If that's our <laughs> schizo mind, dude, I think that that- That's not schizo. No, it's not schizo, but like other people would think it is. Dude, that is such a fact. Imagine being told that you're being oppressed because you get to stay home and raise your children only to go to work and not be able to afford to have children anymore. The average house is about two times the size as they were in 1950, but people are having about half as many kids. So basically capitalism has taught people that they should work their entire lives to afford a big, pretty much vacant house. And this exactly why I say get the prenup. Not even for men, for women too. Like I get it, that's my baby, that's my soulmate, my ride or die for five years. That's what he thought. Then out of nowhere, she try to leave and take half his shit. Like, I never understood the the whole, like, oh, prenups are so offensive. Like, when I talk to girls and they, oh, you know, marriage and kids, the first thing I say is, you know you signing a prenup, right? Oh, but Lewis, that's so offensive. I'm in it for you, not the money. If you in it for me and you only in it for me and the love, a prenup should not be a big deal. Like, you should not be taking half of my shit. Whatever you walk into the relationship with is what you walk out of. Like, a lot of people might not agree with me, and that's okay. All I gotta say is, look, losing a girl is bad. But losing a girl and your money, that's even worse. <laughs> I'd rather just lose the bitch. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. How'd you meet your current husband? Bill Higgins, I proposed to him. First week I met him, yeah. <sighs> I wasn't going to mess around. You. There was a husband in between who I also proposed to. Too quickly. <laughs> on a step. What's in your mind? He goes, what do you mean what's in my mind? Well, are you going to marry me or not? I proposed to both husbands before I slept with them. Maybe I'm an old-fashioned girl. You give away the goods. You have less power. But you're not that old-fashioned because you're the woman proposing to men. Well, that's not old-fashioned. Do you think more women should propose? Why not propose? You see what you want? You ask him to marry you. Yeah. I don't know what the big deal is. Well, it's a you weird... You lie to your mother and say he, ma he proposed he to propo me. Now, me personally, I wouldn't want a woman to propose to me because it seems a little bit forced. But to be fair, it makes more sense than just sleeping with random men and hoping that one day one of them is going to marry you. Till next time.